we have to work hard in order to have the private sector boosting innovative thinking, innovative approaches, new financial mechanisms, but the public sector also has to play an important role. We believe that uh, some companies who will not take care of this type of issue may be left in 20 years from now with difficulty to attract not only shareholders, uh, lenders or, uh, or financial investors, but difficulty to attract staff because they will not be considered as sustainable in their own business model. Development, sustainability right now is seen by the private sector as a profitable business. This means that they can participate more actively, if you so wish, by way of finding new ways to invest in these projects of social growth and sustainability. Some organizations might, or people might believe that the private sector investments should take over certain things. That's not the case. The private sector are not interested to take over the role of the public sector or the role of the governments. We want to be a complement. The private sector is not the enemy of development. It is the engine of development. So that's the main message, that the private sector drives development and we need to work closely together to deliver. We have lack of trust. Uh, between the different sectors. We work in silos and we are suspicious. So there's still need for platforms where we come together. If we're serious about trying, about achieving the SDGs, about achieving the new urban agenda, particularly around reducing poverty, addressing gender equality and decent work for all, and building sustainability, sustainable cities, we can't do that without the engagement of the informal sector and without the engagement of informal workers and in their organizations. I think the observation that really hit me is that there's a lot of um, conversation about the problematic side of the informal economy being that it's impossible to tax uh, with low you know, tax revenues. Obviously that creates problems for government. It also makes it very difficult um, to tell politicians to really take these people's interests to heart. Pero por supuesto tienen un problema de productividad, son menos productivas que las grandes empresas y realmente lo que me ha interesado son las distintas políticas públicas que se están llevando a cabo, no solamente desde los gobiernos, sino también desde las organizaciones e incluso de los bancos de desarrollo que han participado de este foro para apoyar a las pymes para lograr que sean realmente lo productivas que necesitamos que sean con un solo objetivo que es crear más y mejor empleo, que creo que es el objetivo de todo el mundo. The first thing the government should think about is a serious fiscal reform that would allow to have active policies. This is a kind of vicious circle. You can have more taxes, but at the same time you need to improve the quality of public uh, policy. If not, the citizen will not want to pay. And a large part of these small firms actually operate in the informal world. Uh, I think governments have a different logic than the private sector. Uh, there's a lot of mistrust between both because they have a different nature. So you need to bridge that difference. And there the DFIs can step in to bridge the difference because the DFIs are used to work with governments, are used to work with the private sector and understand where you can intervene. I think governments need to appreciate that the current status quo of instability and low growth in high income, low growth markets is going to continue and get worse unless we embrace sustainability. On the positive side, sustainability is going to unlock untold wealth and prosperity. And so if we seize on it now, not only are we going to get out of our current quagmire, we're going to end up in a better, brighter world. Dans tous nos pays, le secteur public et le secteur privé travaillent ensemble, sans compromission. Ce qu'il faut pour que cela fonctionne bien, c'est d'avoir un minimum de règles qui peuvent être soit nationales, soit internationales. Donc tout ceci est gérable dans un système fonctionnel, bien régulé. Dans ce contexte, l'OCDE a un rôle particulier à jouer.